So before we begin, I'm going to throw it back a little bit. Typical me wanted to be in bed all day. No, scratch that. Old me was always in bed all day. Only waking up to order food, endlessly consuming, and doing things that provided instant gratification to me. I never had a morning routine because I was never awake in the morning. And when I did eventually wake up, I would be mindlessly consuming, mindlessly watching TV, mindlessly scrolling on my phone, binge eating, and just distracting myself. In life, there's two things you need to balance out. You need to balance out how much you consume and how much you produce. I was consuming more than I was creating and consuming more than I was producing. This led me to procrastinate. This led me to a productivity decline. I wasn't being productive. This excessive desire for comfort led me to daydreaming about the woman I wanted to be more than I was being about her. And one day I decided I needed to make a change. I decided to start off by getting my mornings in check and also my sleep pattern in check. Good morning. So I set my alarm to go off at 8 a.m. I am not at the point where I'm waking up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. No, I can't deceive myself like that, but eventually I will get there. I'm trying to stay away from the habit of being on my phone first thing I wake up, but I do have some time-based investments I need to check out. I'm going to go ahead and open my blinds. This is something I never used to do because I just wanted it to be dark all day so I can just sleep in and be comfortable and lethargic all day. First things first, I go ahead to lay my bed. This is like so cliche, but it actually just sets your mind right for the day. After my bed is laid, I get comfortable and then I head to the washroom to do my oral routine, which is brushing my teeth, flossing, and also scraping my tongue. Don't forget the tongue, guys. <laughs> I also listen to a podcast or an audiobook in this time. The truth is that no matter how easy people make it seem, it can be incredibly challenging to abandon toxic habits and instead choose to do what we know is right. This is by no means a judgment. If you're still on this planet, that there's an area of your life that is still growing to its maximum potential. I try to hold my mouthwash for as long as possible because it really does slap my cheeks every time. I go ahead to refresh my face. I'm using this Pure Hills toner and I really like this toner. I will leave a link down below in the description box and I also moisturize my lips. And then I go out and, you know, just get myself set for the day. So I set out to do a little chore for the day and this time I'm just unloading my dishwasher from the night before. I'm not about to start, you know, cleaning up the whole house, washing anything. No, it's still in the morning and I'm just trying to be as realistic as I can be I'm not going to do that yet but you know as time goes by I will get there so with the weather changing it kind of forces me to be a tea lover I never used to like tea but I did get it cold and now I just you know I just drink tea because it's so calming in the morning and this is the time where I just relax I go on my phone I either do a devotional I write What's an area of your life where you continue to repeat a cycle that ends with you feeling less valuable? That, my dear, is your forbidden fruit. In this very moment, my ideas are just pouring and pouring. I don't know what it is about, like, just sitting there. It just helps me get my thoughts together so well. Now, consider how evolving for the better in that area would change your life. That's the new pattern I want you to achieve. So if you don't know, cooking is a form of creation and I've made it a point to always make my own breakfast. Even if I wanted to order food later in the day, I would make sure I make my breakfast myself. I start with some avocados and I spice it with some pepper, some black pepper and salt and also some eggs. Avocados are really high in potassium and very nutritious for you. My egg is my source of protein and also the bacon as well. I go ahead to sauce it with my basil and garlic sauce and ketchup and a little bit of cheese. And that's it for my breakfast. 
I typically like to fast in the morning. Fasting is very good for you. So I don't actually eat my breakfast there and then. I just make it so that I know that I have something to eat after I work out. And now I'm going to go ahead to make my pre-workout. I'm using some frozen fruit. I use frozen fruit because I I realize that every time I have fresh fruits, it just goes bad on me. So the frozen fruit just makes it so easy and so convenient. I put some pineapples as well as well as some spinach and then my protein shake for the day and some Truvia sweetener and ginger to spice it up. I blend it all together. Sometimes I add some coconut flakes if I want to or just anything I want to, you know, spice it up. I'll be doing different variations of this for you guys. So now I just go ahead to get ready for the gym. I wish I was one of those girls that like to look cute to the gym, but I just want to be comfortable, baby. I can't be bothered. So yeah, I just dress up and I get ready to head out. Let's go. So at the gym, I just start off with my cardio. I do about 15 minutes to 20 minutes of that. And this is a good day for the gym session. So don't think that this is my everyday gym session. Sometimes I just do cardio and I leave. Right now, I'm just going ahead to do some deadlifts. And this really helps your back and your bum. I don't think my form was that great in this video. But you know, it's whatever. I'm just doing it. Guess what? I'm building the habits by doing it repeatedly. That's it. And for my music, I have to go high hard with the with the music at the gym so you know i don't do no slow music it has to be bing, 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 just, just, just. so now i'm just doing some leg raises and you know this helps your bum and your glutes and then i go ahead to do some squats i love me my squats i love to build my legs i just love to see my definition come out when you know everything is you know right <laughs> Like I told you guys in my last video, building habits is about, you know, the process. It's not really about the goal. So I'm just putting in work to build the process, build the systems more than the goal. Right now, I'm just doing some leg pushes. Uh, what is this thing called? Don't embarrass me, child. <laughs> anyway, and I also do some ab workout. At the gym, I'm playing rap, I'm a piano, afro beats, just things that get me going so that I feel, you know, the ginger. Ew, look who got a good workout. Oh, that's right that's me to that good workout i feel so unstoppable i get back home i get in the shower with my shower routine i use a very very hard sponge baby you need to exfoliate and then some only body wash i will do a self-care routine which is why i didn't really go into that and then i head over to do my skincare my favorite time of the year um not of the year child <laughs> of the morning i'm just gonna go ahead to clean my face with this v10 peeling pad which i got from this you know skin star company it's a subscription company that has been sending me stuff for a while this is not sponsored by them but i just really love the products that they've been sending me after that i go in with my snail mucin and this just brings in my hydration back to my face i love to stay hydrated more than i love to exfoliate i go in with my niacinamide and then my hyaluronic acid just to put more hydration on my face and then i top it off with some epanui lightning serum i really like this serum and it's just really it really brightens up my face and then I go in with this Pure Heels Toner. I really love it. It's one I use it like every single minute, every single time. And I just let that dry down a bit while I moisturize my lips. And then I go ahead to moisturize my face with the Epanui um, moisturizer. I've been really loving this brand. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. If you have, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you like it or how you like it and i just go in with this eye roller from the cleave this also came from one of the subscription boxes i got in the past and i'm just using that all over my eyes for my bags and my you know dark circles and then i top it off with sunscreen don't forget your sunscreen guys this is the neutrogena sunscreen 
and this has a white cast so yeah but i'm just i'm at home so yeah it kind of works still so yeah that's it and then for my body routine i'm going in with this bosia probiotic deodorant and then my dove um, deodorant in the cocoa butter that's my favorite i go in with my bath and body works and then my tom for tobacco vanilla i like to mix my high end with my low end because it just makes the smell distinct and i just feel fresh i feel like i conquered the world i'm feeling good i'm feeling nice that's right i know that's right i did that period yeah and now i just go ahead to eat my breakfast that i made i chill i get on my phone and then i go ahead to be productive for the day and do some work after i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share subscribe click the bell like button down below and let me know if you would like more of this kind of videos because i really enjoyed making it love you guys bye whenever your heart is broken don't ever forget your golden i will find a light in your soul I